All right, this video today is going to be short, it's going to be sweet, and chocked full of value. As you know, one of the great things about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is that this is for everybody. This is not just for financial elites. Bitcoin is for everybody. You can get involved. I can get involved. It's not that complicated. That's actually one of the things we try and teach here on our channel, Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for our daily videos on everything going on in the cryptocurrency space. I actively try to articulate to you why I believe Bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market has a lot of room to grow. I actively tell you what I'm invested in and show you, if you so choose, how you can invest yourself. Because the more you look into it, the more you will see that we are on the cusp of something, something big. Now, crypto as an industry in the coming years is expected to boom. And the fact is, people are going to be making a whole lot of money in cryptocurrency over the next five to ten years. And there's really no reason why you can't be one of those people. But get interested. This is interesting. And keep in mind, the point of this video today, it's not to excite you into some sort of euphoria. I mean, yes, this is exciting. Being an early adopter is exciting. But the point of today's video is to get you focused. Open your eyes. Get this on your radar. Our regular subscribers know that often we go more in depth on each one of these points. But today, I just want to make it a quick list. And the cool thing is, with each one of these 40 reasons as we go down uh, this article, they're all linked up to a source. So if at any point you're thinking to yourself, mm, I really need to know more about that, you can just click on the source and research more. Excellent. Finally, before we begin, just a disclaimer. Nobody knows the future. Definitely not me. But as investors, yes, we try and predict the future and anticipate what's going to happen. And that's what I like to do. You know, I like to find the signs that help us anticipate what's coming. Because I plan to make a whole lot of money with cryptocurrency over the next few years. Maybe you're like me. Anyways, feel free to send this to a friend. Feel free to send this to a family member. This video today, I'm not here to sell you anything. You're safe. Relax. Just go in the next few minutes with an open mind. I don't care if you invest in Bitcoin or not, but I do think you're going to learn something. And either way, you're going to find a lot of value in today's video. And within this list, just so you know, there are some bigger things, like the first two things, backed in fidelity. These are huge. Then there are also some lesser things, like Katy Perry posting on Instagram. But even these smaller things take this as a sign that a cultural shift is happening. Because this is very similar to how we were in the early days of the internet. You know, back 1994, there were people who were into the internet, and there are some people who just didn't get it. Other people speculating, how big can it be? What can this really do for society? Things are just a few years away from fully becoming mainstream, and I think we're in a similar spot with cryptocurrency. Anyways, let's get into it real quick, 40 reasons why. Uh, first two things that go together. So the New York Stock Exchange, this is the largest stock exchange on the planet. And their parent company, which owns many exchanges, they're creating a cryptocurrency trading platform known as BACT in collaboration with Microsoft and Starbucks. Maybe you've heard of them with physically backed Bitcoin futures. Not to mention another huge company, Fidelity, is now offering Bitcoin to its clients and has been mining it since 2015. This is more recent news. We just found out that Fidelity has been in the Bitcoin game since 2015. This is pretty cool. So with both of these, both Bact and Fidelity, these are unprecedented in Bitcoin's 10-year history. Because as you know, the, the last 10 years, Bitcoin has kind of been on the outskirts of, the, of society in the mainstream. And really, the only people who bought and traded it were computer geeks or nerds or, or smart people. The point is, now institutional money is going to be entering the space. And for the first time ever, big money is now, they're going to have an on-ramp to invest. Backed, Fidelity, over the next few years, they're going to bring a lot of new money into the market. And that's not even to mention Starbucks and what they're doing. You know, they're working on ways to use crypto in retail situations. What people always say is, you know, you can use your Bitcoin to buy Starbucks coffee, but it's a lot more complex. I, 
it's a lot more complex than that. I said I wasn't going to go into too much detail. This is just a list, so let's keep going on with that. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, a man who needs no introduction. He is co-founding a crypto asset investment firm. As you know, Steve Wozniak, he's, he's almost like a thought leader within the tech space. So this is a big deal. Next up, as I said, Katy Perry. Uh, she introduced millions of uh, her followers uh, earlier this year. Maybe it was late last year to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies where she tweeted her maybe her nails out different uh, altcoins and Bitcoin in them. I mean, this is just helping things become more normal. It's normalizing itself in society. Brendan Eich, creator of JavaScript and Mozilla Firefox, created a better browser called Brave Browser. So basically, this guy who invented Mozilla Firefox, he basically, he built a better mousetrap, a better browser, because this Brave browser, which you can download and start using today, it's faster than Mozilla, it's faster than Google, and really the key is it has built-in ad blockers, and you don't have to see any ads. And using Basic Attention Token, the native cryptocurrency asset in it, you'll be able to reward content creators using cryptocurrency. The whole thing is pretty cool. I have Brave browser. I recommend it. Even if you're not an investor, check out Brave browser. It's, it's, it's a better mousetrap. Amazon Web Services partnering up with Quantum Cryptocurrency, uh, Qtum. Um, so, you know, as we go down, you can feel free to research this more yourself, but just notice these big names getting involved with crypto. We haven't really seen that, you know, even just a couple years ago. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is utilizing Ripple's Interledger protocol to help with payment services for financially impoverished and unbanked. So once again, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Ripple. If you've never heard of anything in cryptocurrency before, you still you might have heard of Ripple. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres and Ashton Kutcher, they did something. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Next up, IBM is partnering up with Stellar Lumens for cross-border payment solutions. Jamie Dimon, the infamous CEO of JP Morgan, right? At, at one point, he was telling everybody Bitcoin is a fraud. And if he catches any of his employees owning Bitcoin, he'd fire them. This guy creating a lot of fear, creating a lot of uncertainty and doubt. Meanwhile, in the background, now we know JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley bought Bitcoin ETNs on the dip. So they were just as involved as anybody. MLB, Major League Baseball, is launching a crypto-based game on the blockchain using ERC-721 standard for non-fungible tokens. So without getting too much involved on the tech, one of the cool things about blockchain and cryptocurrency is that you can have something digital, which now, if it's on blockchain, has value, and has scarcity. And that's something that MLB is taking advantage of, and that's pretty cool. George Soros, global elite himself, initially bashed cryptocurrencies only to later buy a stack of Bitcoin at the 6K low. Hey, look at this. We're not too far off 6K right now. Huge companies, Alibaba and IBM, have the most blockchain patents in the world. Yale's endowment invested $400 million in crypto asset funds. The Winklevoss twins took $11 million of their Facebook money and put it into Bitcoin in 2013 when it was just $120 each. That's actually, you know, there's more, there's better information about the Winklevoss twins and Bitcoin and crypto out there. They're doing a lot for the space. Look into that and suck it, Zuckerberg. Should I go on? John McAfee. <laughs> he bet his manhood that by 2020, Bitcoin would reach a certain price level. He says if Bitcoin doesn't reach a certain price level, by 2020, he's going to eat his, uh, his manhood on TV. So that'll be fun. Jack Dorsey, CEO of Twitter and Square, thinks Bitcoin is the currency of the future. Richard Branson thinks Bitcoin will bring an economic revolution. Goldman Sachs, backed Circle, launched a crypto finance company. So yes, once again, Goldman Sachs used to not want to be associated with crypto. They were creating a lot of FUD as well. Now we know they're in the game just as much as anybody. Square's Cash App allows users to buy and sell Bitcoin across the globe, across all 50 states, I believe. This is big. Coinbase, probably how most of you bought your first Bitcoin, is now valued at $8 billion. The co-founder of YouTube and the founder of Twitch, obviously two huge companies, especially YouTube, they're, ad they're advisors on a specific altcoin known as Theta Token. Bitmain is on track for $10 billion in revenue this year, after around $4 billion last year. So crypto as an industry is on its way up. It's a growing industry. Binance, another very popular exchange, made more profit in Q2 2018 than, the, than that of the Deutsche Bank. That's pretty interesting. Reddit co-founder 
and husband of Serena Williams, don't forget that, is betting on Bitcoin as a hedge to the economic crisis. Huh. Blockchains LLC bought 60,000 acres for their company that will incubate and innovate Ethereum's Ethereum-based blockchain ventures. The co-founder of Wikipedia is now working on its decentralized counterpart, Everipedia. Acon is launching his own cryptocurrency, Acoin, to help bring security to the current system to the current system of Africa. I'm rooting for you, Akon, but I don't know, maybe stick to music. Ashton Kutcher donated $4 million in XRP to Ellen DeGeneres' charity by transferring it to her in a matter of seconds. So you remember this. Ashton Kutcher went on the Ellen DeGeneres show and donated to her charity using Ripple's XRP in a matter of seconds, introducing Ellen's millions of fan base to how quickly uh, a blockchain cryptocurrency transfer can be. The co-owner of the Golden State Warriors invested early in Bitcoin and thinks it's going to be worth $1 million per coin someday. Plastic Bank is helping those in developing countries earn cryptocurrency while also curing plastic ocean pollution. I know you've seen those IBM commercials. Uh, Robinhood offers the purchase of crypto commission-free. So Robinhood, a popular app for stock trading, now you can trade cryptos on it and it's commission-free. Steve Bannon is betting on Bitcoin and launching his own cryptocurrency. Okay. Bill Clinton spoke at the Swell Conference in support of Ripple and blockchain technology. A former president? Yeah, that's a big deal. Mainstream. Former Trump aide Goldman Sachs exec Gary Cohn is joining a blockchain startup. The NFL purchased a stake in blockchain startup Sportscaster. The NBA goes crypto as the Sacramento Kings mine Ethereum. Bitmain sponsors the Houston Rockets, and former commissioner David Stern backs Fanchain. Rockefeller-owned Venrock is investing in cryptocurrency. Overstock.com is going full-on crypto. They're a site, huge site. You can buy almost anything, and they accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies can end poverty and provide financial freedom to those who need it banking the unbanked there is a market there and a lot of different companies are working on this uh, what is it Omisai Go, Electronium, Cardano, who else if you have any others who are working on banking the unbanked shout it out in the comments this is a cool thing anyways the final thing I want to mention is as you know Bitcoin's original value is as a superior means of payment transactions and a store of value Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, it's a good way to opt out of the current financial system, which is controlled by banks and third parties. And really, the only true way to see if it does have value is if usership increases. So, smile, gents. It's hard to ignore these metrics. Bitcoin's on-chain transactions, i.e. people transacting Bitcoin, has been increasing all summer and fall. And we can see that right here. We went through a little correction earlier and we've been increasing since but that's not to mention the exponential increase since bitcoin's inception check this out once again this is on-chain transactions you can see right here transactions we've been growing exponentially we had a big correction at the beginning of this year or late last year but since then we have still been going up how many transactions are happening is possibly the most accurate way to gauge adoption, and numbers don't lie. People are using Bitcoin more and more. Anyways, I hope you found value in today's video. If you got sent this from a friend or family member, just know that they just wanted to introduce you. Um, you know, you don't have to buy Bitcoin, but just know that this is kind of, just like the internet kind of revolutionized things, Bitcoin and crypto are kind of revolutionizing things right now. If you want to be a part of the conversation, feel free to subscribe to Altcoin Daily for our daily videos where we clue you in. We keep things simple and straightforward. If you found value in today's video, help get the word out there. Liking the video, it's a small thing you can do that helps our channel grow. Either way, I'm happy to be on this journey with you. See you tomorrow.